Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bisesa cut the ribbon to declare the Magdalena Grand Beach Resort officially opened. According to the Prime Minister, this four-star resort is currently rated number one in Tobago and number two in Trinidad and Tobago. Here's more. The official opening ceremony took place today in the Colibri Ballroom of the Magdalena Grand Beach Resort. Minister of Tourism Dr. Rupert Griffith said the opening of the Magdalena means that Tobago now has over 1,400 rooms available to visitors. He shared some advice with the management of the hotel to ensure the success of the resort. The success of Magdalena depends on selecting staff with the right skills and dedicated to providing the best customer service. Your focus on delivering quality and staff skills, in particular your excellent attitude towards employee satisfaction and opportunities, will help retain and develop your staff. Meantime, Chief Secretary Orville London described the opening of the resort as a resurrection and recovery of the dream and vision of the tourism industry in Tobago. He commended the staff at the Magdalena for the high quality of service they have given since the resort began operations. He was proud to say that 80% of the staff are from Tobago. The Magdalena Grand is outfitted with 200 quality rooms. The Chief Secretary stated that 200 quality rooms are not enough. He said Tobago needs at least 1,000 quality rooms to be able to attract the kind of clientele necessary to turn the tourism industry around. We're talking about marketing and we're talking about investment. And one of the disappointments that I have, I've had over the past decade, is that despite all that has been said about the Foreign Investment Act and what it brings or what it can bring to Tobago, it is quite uh, revealing and quite startling that no significant investment have, has ever come from overseas in respect of the tourism sector in Tobago. Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bisesa in her address said her government places a high level of importance on Tobago's renewal as a thriving economy and an equal partner of the Republic. Since this hotel opened in 2011, that 17,000 room nights have been booked with guests arriving from countries across the globe, Austria, Canada, the Caribbean, France, Italy, Qatar, Norway, the United States, and of course from Trinidad. But I'm also advised that the majority of guests came from the UK and across Europe. I'm advised that these visitors tend to stay longer at the resort, and that is good for business, and indeed, it proves that in spite of the lengthy closure, Tobago has largely maintained its high appeal in the core tourist market. Yesterday, Member of Parliament for Tobago West, Dr. Delman Baker, revealed the Tobago Tourism Fund of approximately $250 million. Today, the Prime Minister outlined several other initiatives her government has planned for the development of Tobago's tourism industry. Making Tobago an economic zone so that we can have it as a duty-free island in that way... In that way, we can attract more visitors to Tobago. And the second we are considering is to uh, build or to construct marinas, first-class marinas in Tobago. The Prime Minister added that her government is also looking at the possibility of Caribbean Airlines offering more flights to Tobago.